Hello boys and girls fascinated by wristwatches, again Drago Stoica, Creative Wizards Romania and we are here yet again in the Creative Wizards studio to bring you another cool watch wrist review because we love photography but we surely love also watches. So for all you watch lovers out there I think this name you bought Italo Fontana already says everything I am sure every watch lover watch enthusiast knows this watch brand but if you are not by any chance familiar with this brand or you are new in watch and orology stuffs who U-Boat Italo Fontana is a watch brand based in Italy producing for almost 20 years handcrafted and limited edition pieces, all of them designed by Italo Fontana. Uh, they are uh, based in Tuscany. Uh, basically, the company is based in a country villa surrounded by a beautiful nature, a nature landscape, uh, only about 15 minutes away from uh, Luca's old medieval town walls in the heart of Tuscany. Of course, this is information that I uh, read up on the U-Boat website, which I encourage you to have a look on. So, getting uh, right to the subject, uh, don't want to keep you bored there. Uh, this is a model from their uh, uh, relatively new series, Caps Oil series, which basically means that the watch is filled with oil. This is my beautiful timepiece Dark Moon bronze model. That's clear. Roger. Hey, this is Houston, we're copying. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston, F2, I'm at one one sixty a second. because I just love bronze and you both are one of my favorite bra uh, brands that make beautiful uh, bronze models. So this is a very inexpensive watch and one, w when I say inexpensive, this watch retails for uh, something around 1000 euros. If you think 1000 euros is expensive, I remind you that you don't have to judge a price by what your income is or, or what you can afford. Uh, considering that Swiss top watchery, watchmaking, retails at hundreds of thousands of dollars, even 1 million or over 1 million euros sometime, a 1000 euros watch is a very cheap watch. And this is a beautiful timepiece from u -Bolt for those uh, uh, for that money. Uh, so we have here a quartz movement because come on, you cannot fill with oil a mechanical movement. So this is a quartz movement, but also a Swiss quartz movement. If I understood correctly, this is from the well-known Ronda. Ronda, Ronde, I don't know exactly the pronunciation, but it's R-O-N-D-A, so Ronda, Swiss, uh, company that are uh, focused on quartz movements but quality quartz movements uh, some of them also with rubies so uh, really really great uh, uh, quality and they took this simple quartz movement I say simple because of course you can see it has only the hand and the minutes the hour hand and the minutes hand so no complication basically if you don't consider the the oil feeling a uh, complication, but because it, it doesn't uh, interact with uh, any time telling or any other indication, uh, it's not, after my opinion, a watch complication, of course. So basically, this is 
the front side and I don't know how, how good you can see here but on each side, on the right side here and on the left side here, there are four holes in the face of the watch that of course allow for the oil to communicate with the back side of the watch which of course is uh, a straight cap, a bronze cap. Uh, I am sure that this uh, screw here can drain the oil so it's, it's like on your engine from your car you have to drain the oil at some point when you change the battery before unscrewing the cap because you will have to change the battery at some moment it's, it's a quartz movement so of course it, it's powered by a, a watch battery the crown is positioned here on the left side which is great because it doesn't bother you here at, uh, at the wrist when you are doing movements like, like that but this is not a big watch this is in the range of 45 millimeters I have it right here next to my Beerens uh, rotary which is uh, 42 millimeters so you can see that it's not such a big difference uh, between them 42 with 45 millimeters it's very close but look, look at this beautiful uh, colors and contrast. The awesome work done by U-Boat on this leather. The, the, the U-Boat leather straps are among one of the finest, in, in my opinion. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they are using, using cow skin for their straps. And this is a very, very beautiful one. I, I suppose this... 3D models here are um, burned with uh, heat up metals that you stick on the leather and they burn the letters so they look this awesome so basically not a very complicated watch but a beautiful one and we watch lovers know that we are buying watches and we wear them and we enjoy them because of their looks there is nothing like good models or bad models Everyone has its tastes and everyone should wear whatever they like. Don't care about what the others think. It's your life, your wrist, your money, your watches. Enjoy it, do it for you, not for the envy or the opinions of others. Of course, if you have a filled with oil um, watch, you must be also on the engineering side of things and understand the science behind it. Any a fluid, any material will expand or contract when heat or cold is influencing them. So of course you cannot fill this with oil until it's fully 100%. You got to leave here and you can see it, this little air bubble that will work and will compensate when the heat is up and the oil will um, expand the oil bubble you can see that it uh, of course it's it's becoming smaller as, as the air is compressed by the oil this is funny when i wear it on my wrist because of course any watch that stays on your wrist will take heat from your hand from your wrist and his whole temperature in a few hours of wearing builds up and you can see on this kind of watch that the air bubble is going smaller when you take it out or if you leave it in a very cool uh, area, you can see that that bubble grows larger, of course, because the oil cools down and it contracts. You can see here that we have an indication, a, a telling, I should say. Yes, this is U-Boat Italo Fontana Dark Moon. And this is saying working between 0 and 60 degrees Celsius. Why is the U-Boat company telling us this for this watch? Because you have a watch filled with oil. The hour hand and the minute hand and all the mechanics inside are turning and twisting and working in a fluid oil environment. If this will go under 0 degrees, the oil will get so thick that most likely the mechanism will not be able to move correctly through that thick oil. If you go with it beyond 60 degrees, it's too hot. This expands too much. The air bubble will, be not, will not be able to compensate for, for the expanding of the oil. 
Anyway, 60 degrees is a, a lot. I, I suppose you got to stay with this in the direct sun of the Sahara Desert to build up such great heat. But maybe if you stay outside also in Dubai, you can get that heat. So come on guys, let's be serious. If you, if you are wearing this on your wrist, even if you are standing in directly in the cold weather of a winter of a, of a winter season you you got to be uh, careful not to get this too cold uh, this shouldn't get below zero on your wrist maybe if you're on the north pole and you are standing outside with it and outside are minus 50 degrees and your wrist with your watch gets uh, to zero but i think you would be frozen so i don't think this should be a problem between zero and 60 is also uh, suitable for you as a human being so don't worry that's it majorly about this piece not a complicated timepiece but a, be a very beautiful one and this oil filled uh, watch face is awesome in the light because it cuts a lot of other reflections that other watches does not it also acts like a loop uh, from the side is is just awesome and um, amazing to watch also in artificial light also in sunlight uh, any any time you wear it basically so guys thank you for watching stay tuned <laughs>